fighting. And the final round. And uh, we apologize for showing this type of uh, matchup. It's part of the undercard here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And we've had several quick knockouts. And this obviously has provided a lot of Z's, uh, both at home and here at ringside. Well, it, it's, it's a shame because there's some great fights coming up. And there have been two or three spectacular fights ahead of this. Sometimes the exigencies of television uh, make it impossible to show the way uh, we have our fights lined up. This is one of those fights that's called a walkout fight. It should not have been shown on television. Well, we have some beauties upcoming on NBC Sports World. As Mitch Green and Melvin Epps are in the final 25 seconds. <laughs> question about the decision here the two judges and the referee do the scoring and this one is uh, fortunately all over so we'll get the decision in just a moment i'm coming on sports world later on we have bouts which will include alex ramos and johnny bumpus here comes everybody standing up so Mitch Green has won by unanimous decision over Melvin Epps in a mismatch, and Mitch Green continues his unbeaten record. I heard him like my problem hit me, and I know Hurtman was taking that belt, but that's not him talking. See, that's his husband talking, Robert Gibbons. Ain't that a heck of a pair? Robert Gibbons and Michelle Cicely Tyson. Hey, this sissy, I'm going to beat him. I call him in a homo. Right, I'm asking you a question, Oliver. Now you sit down and shut up, you little ugly thing. <laughs> I'm asking, this is the cat. Hi, you know, I am Mike Tyson. I call him Cotton Michelle. And then, how you gonna hit a man with his bad hand and break his whole hand? Yeah. yeah. Come on, talk I'm to me. You so much damage on you, considering. How you like me now? <sighs> Come on, man, trust me, man. <laughs> you know, that's a small thing for a doubt. Right. You understand? Uh, Can like I introduce you, brother, at this time, yeah, Jerry? Yeah, yeah. Jerry, I. Uh, how you doing, Oliver? You've been following his him. fights, et cetera. And what do you think of uh, your brother's chances uh, against uh, Tyson? Well, I think my brother has a very good chance of fighting Mike Tyson. As long as he has a competent mind, training facilities, training accommodations to prepare himself, and knowing that he's getting paid finally. Because he's been fighting for a long time. This has been his dream to step in the ring and fight for the heavyweight title of the world. And I would like to see my brother finally accomplish what he set out to do. How long, Jerry? Not long. How long, Jerry? Not long. <laughs> <laughs> we hope oh. very soon. All right, the public is wondering uh, whether you're all heat or whether you did notice some weakness in Tyson in your l last fight that you can capitalize on. Yeah, I, you know what? The man easy to hit. You know like I said, I don't know who you've been fighting. Them, them, you know, them fighters have been fighting. Them sanitation workers, them bartenders, whatever, the <laughs> ex champions. Everybody been knocked out. And I'm going to say it's a proven fact. Like I said, the only weakness I see about that man right about now is, like I said, is that. He's a sister. The stare is Elmo. Now, if I say Mike Tyson, I'll put a hickey on your neck, I'll get a fight. But now, look, I'm calling, I'm calling a man. Listen, the only reason, like I say, I, I really know the size of the reason, like I say, I'm big. Ain't no midget heavyweight. Ain't no man, 4 foot 11, gonna beat me. He's a small thing for a giant. If it ain't rough, it ain't right. 5 feet 11. Right? 5 feet 11. <laughs> <foot. laughs> you just got okay. a big old head and big right. feet. So, you, uh, you have a 4 inch height advantage. Uh, you also I'm have a giant. A, Two and a half inch reach advantage. He's 79 and a half, and uh, you're. Yeah, he's 79. He look like he's 79. <laughs> and 22 years old. I wouldn't tell about 22 years old the way he look. Right. How about his speed? <laughs> Big old baby, you in. How about how about his speed? Speed, like I say, uh, father was saying he never impressed me. He know it, and I know it. And you're gonna run the tape, and you're gonna see when I was, when we was fighting, when we clinching, I was talking to him. He know I didn't fight him. They made a package deal to make him the youngest champion in the world. He didn't fight a contender. He took my ranking and got, for that little bit of money, I, you know, if that threw a midget in that ring that night, a half re, a retard, a blind man, I'd have fought the same with for a little bit of money. I wanted my money. Like I said, I seen fools out there.